That whiskey gone bad, didn't it? No, this is not a shot reaction video. And yes, yes, what it says in the title is true. I just got done seeing Transformers Rise of the Beast. And just like that whiskey, this movie was really, really bad and hard to swallow. Um, so, yeah, I'm gonna be straight up. There are some spoilers, so leave now or forever hold your peace against me in the comments before leaving comments. Yes, I know I'm a little tardy to the party like Ed Hardy, but, um, yeah, I finally saw this really really bad movie really bad action movie but i will say this it's better than skinner and thx 1138 i hope i said the number right <laughs>
The guy you saw in the last two Transformers movies before they made Bumblebee. Yes, Mark Wahlberg. They reference him leaving the Funky Bunch back when he was Marky Mark. Yes, they actually do that in this movie. I mean, don't get me wrong. Freaking this MCU did something similar. Drifting left. Inside there, Lebowski. But, uh, regardless of that, so now to get into the rating. <sighs> you know what? This is not going to be my lowest rated film. And this is certainly not going to be my highest rated film. But I give it, I give it a 1.9. Yes, a 1.9. It didn't even... Really deserved a nine, but it got a few points. I'm not going to say how. Uh, not that there's any spoilers, but it was just, you know, it was a 1.9. That's just straight up what it was. And I'm going to be honest with all of you. Um, I did not like the movie. I did not hate it as much as I don't want to say even make references to those two movies again because if I do you know what's gonna happen oh fuck I just did didn't I oh my god they're teaming up until then stay tight